didn't know she was headed for. And when I found her, she was headed for. It's been a popular beach bar for four decades, and now the Kraken says that it's being targeted by the city of Encinitas for its live music along the 101. 10 News reporter Rachel Bianco is live in Cardiff, and Rachel, why are they getting all the fines now? Kimberly, that is the question everyone inside wants to know. You can hear the band playing tonight. I want to give you an idea of the location. Across the street, we have the beach and a few restaurants. And then over here, up on the bluff, just across from the lagoon, you have several homes. But the neighbors we talk to seem more concerned about the trains going by than the music. Greg Hobbins is a regular at the Kraken. You always hear a good band whenever you come here. So much great local talent. Local talent that was almost silenced. The city recently issued the bar three citations and two warnings for noise and overcrowding. It did feel like harassment for quite a few weeks there. Worried about mounting fines, the owner pulled the plug on all live music. Loyal customers quickly responded. Nearly 1,500 signed this petition to keep the bands on stage. This is the first time in 39 years that anything like this has happened. So it was concerning for sure. There are homes up on the bluff above the lagoon, but we couldn't find any neighbors upset about loud music. City leaders tell 10 News they're responding to ongoing complaints about noise and alcohol in downtown Encinitas. They're enforcing an existing code that prohibits music from being heard outside. During a recent crackdown, the city also cited the Saloon for Loud Noise and Priority Public House, just up the 101, got a warning for overcrowding. Back at the Kraken, they're optimistic the city and the owner will come to an agreement. If you take it away, the city's going to lose revenue, right? Then people will go downtown for live music and dancing. I talked to Councilman Tony Krantz earlier tonight, and he told me they're still trying to figure a way to balance the needs of the citizens with the needs of the bar owners. They'll be taking up all of the enforcement issues uh, at the next city council meeting sometime in either September or October. Reporting live in Cardiff, Rachel Bianco, 10 News.